All right, guys. So for as long as iClone 8 has been out, there's been this problem, and I have not been able to uh, pin it down for a long time. And so I bounced around back and forth between thinking that it was something I was doing and maybe that it was a bug in iClone. Well, today I can confirm that this is an iClone bug, and it's a very serious bug. A very debilitating bug. Uh, so let me uh, show you the problem. This affects any animation. I'm going to recreate the problem right here. So uh, the thing is is that uh, a lot of the time when you're dealing with animations you get foot sliding and so you might want to use constraints, reach targets. Uh, it's one of the main key features in iClone that actually even makes it useful at all. Uh, and so uh, without the ability to properly bake those reach targets into uh, these animations, uh, it almost makes iClone completely useless. Uh, so uh, just to demonstrate, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a character into here, and I haven't touched them or done anything with them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, well, there is one thing I did is I, I removed uh, the uh, reference pose that it puts me in, but that's not a big deal. Uh, I did it before with the reference pose. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a 45 degree offset. Let's say that your character is crouched and his pelvis is 45 degrees this way, and but he's looking forward and he's kind of facing forward and then he needs to rotate 90 degrees over here from right here to right here. And, uh, and so this will recreate uh, problems with animations like that. So you'll see I have a keyframe here. And so over here, I have to make sure that I still have that 45 degree rotation and I do. And so I'm going to add a negative 90 degree uh, rotation. Okay, and so now you have a rotation that starts with the pelvis rotated at 45 degrees. Uh, inside of a game, you might act, or on an actual game animation, you might actually uh, uh, have it something like, like this, you know, where he's actually turned towards the camera. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to uh, show you what happens. So you have this right here, 45 degrees. And all I did was add a 45 degree offset to the pelvis, and I rotated the root from 0 to 90. You always want the root to start at 0 and then rotate. Uh, and so inside of here, you'll see that I'm going from 0 to negative 90. And if I flatten this, it's fine. We can go to our base motion under layers and you'll see that we have a smooth negative 90 degree interpolated rotation along here. And on the uh, Z of the head of the pelvis, you'll see that we have this negative 45 degrees all across the board. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back in here and I'm going to go to animation and flatten all motion with constraints. Now I'm going to come back into the base motion and you're going to see something. If I select uh, the bone root, you're going to see automatically something fishy is going on here. And you'll see that it starts at exactly negative 45 degrees. And guess what happened to the, uh, the pelvis? Well, it, uh, it transferred that rotation offset from the pelvis to the root. Uh, so that's what's been causing these issues that I've been dealing with this entire time. Now, in some cases, you might be able to uh, just do it this way, and I'll go ahead and show you how you can fix that, is uh, you can uh, just copy this 45 here and go to here and you'll what you'll do is you'll add this back and in order 
to do that, I need a keyframe. And so I have to take it out of, you can actually do that from right here. Actually, you don't have to do it from there. Uh, you can do it from right here. So I added the, the 45 uh, degrees back here. And I need to counter that with an increase in 45 degrees on the root. So what I'm doing is, is uh, since it's a negative 45 degrees, I'm adding 45 degrees and 45 degrees plus negative 45 degrees is zero. So that zeroes that out and brings it back to zero. And then uh, I am adding that, I'm so, oh, I'm removing 45 degrees from the pelvis again, I'm offsetting it. And so there you go. The, the problem is though, is that this problem doesn't just affect uh, the pelvis rotation on the Z. If the pelvis is rotated on the Z, it does it, but it also, um, it'll also do it for the position X and position Y. So if your, uh, if your pelvis is offset, let's say five degrees and we'll just say 15 degrees, let me make sure I'm on the basal area. So I just offset that. So let's say that we have something like this and you see how it's kind of rotating uh, around what appears to be a pivot. This might look something like what you would have on a turn in place animation. So, <coughs> sorry, let me uh, flatten all motion with constraint. And we're gonna come back over here. And now you're gonna see something else. So not only did it add a, an offset of 45 degrees on the Z, but now we have all this rotational data that that came from the uh, that came from the uh, X position, the location of the of the hips. So it's it's transferring uh, location uh, data from the hips X, Y, and Z, and it's adding it to the position X and position Y, and, root, and it's adding it as an offset to the rotation Z. So you'll see that it completely messes stuff up. And once you have, once you have this right here, on here, it's not, it's not that simple to just uh, take it back. So you'll see it did uh, do five from five uh, to 15, but we won't get the same results if we just copy this, zero it out, and then paste it back here. We won't get the same result. It won't put it back like it was. That's the problem is you can't undo it. Once it screws it up, you can't undo it. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And let's come over here. Okay, so you would think that doing all of this would uh, fix it. Let me do 
do 45. I'm not sure. I don't think this will fix it. So I undid everything. So uh, this should put it back to how it was. I've copied these curves over from the X and the Y back to, to where they should be. And you would expect things to be like they were, but they're not. So it's definitely acting different. If you go back in the video footage, you, you'll notice that things are offset now. Um, uh, I haven't quite nailed down exactly how to reverse that, or even if you can reverse it. I'm not sure. But it definitely looks different to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll be able to go back in and, and watch it, but I'm pretty sure that it was rotating around this central point right here, and I believe now it's rotating around what seems to be another point. Because I don't remember ending right there. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. All right, anyway, I just wanted to do a video on this to uh, uh, bring this issue out and, and into the open. And uh, maybe maybe what I showed you here will help you uh, fix it. Maybe, maybe that does help fix it. But I tried this on some other animations, a turn in place animation, and I couldn't fix it. I couldn't get it to... I couldn't seem to undo the damage that was done by it. And it required, in order to fix it after I realigned everything, I had to use constraints again. And if you, as you know, I have to flatten all motion with constraints in order to save that as an animation. Uh, so I don't know. All right, so I went back and looked at the video and you'll see that the end of the animation on this one, the foot is only partially over the line right there. The toes are over the line. But on this one, after I came back, you'll see that uh, for this one, the feet are way off from where they were. So, and I put everything back like it was, so I don't know what's causing that. I don't have any offsets right here. It's not showing any. So I don't know what's causing that. But it seems that if, after you've baked those, baked to that and then tried to put it back, it just doesn't work.